Now we're going to go ahead and talk about a particular topic that I'm truly passionate about. And this is stuff that I practice. This is not a rehearse. This is not make believe. Like every single video I make is truly authentic. This is stuff that I've actually practiced because the last thing I want to do is have you all do something I've never done, right? And these are practices that's helped me, that's changed my mindset, that's going to change your mindset. These are guaranteed to change your mindset and make you a better version of yourself, right? It's going to increase your life in all different areas, gentlemen. I'm telling you ranging from your mental health, your physical health, your sexual health. I mean, everything when it comes to a man, these two things are gonna change your life forever. And these are things that I did in 30 days, right? These are habits that I did for 30 days. It's a bit awkward, you know, and these two things is definitely gonna change your life. I want y'all to tune in and enjoy this video. one do not masturbate or watch corn for 30 days now gentlemen on my old videos i've talked about the concept of no fap and seam retention right and you know looking back at those old videos like like i said when i first made those videos i was very new to youtube so um i actually practiced the no fap and seam retention but i promise you i truly believe all men must practice no fap for a month Meaning, so I'm going to go ahead and explain no fat. So no fat is the absence of practice for masturbation, meaning you are not masturbating. So you are not masturbating for 30 days, right? Because again, I talk about this often. Your seed is everything. Your seed is your source of energy. So when you're not able to protect your seed and you're wasting your seed for a, 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 a pixel, I'm telling you, you don't feel good about yourself right and the thing is i'm not saying never do it again my videos to, to be realistic and teach you to do it much less because there will be times where you're not going to have a particular significant other or somebody that you can release those that release the, the the sperm or release that particular energy i always tell guys you got to value that right do it less because there's so many dudes today that masturbate three, four, five times a day. And honestly, where do you have the time to be masturbating that many times? That means you are not on your purpose. If you masturbated three times a day, that means you have been wasting time. You've been wasting time. Where do you have the time to do that three times a day? And I'm being realistic with y'all, right? I'm being extremely realistic with y'all. I'm not saying never ever do it again, right? But you got to learn to do it once in every while. It's got to be very minimal. But if you can master 30 days, you can conquer anything. Because I understand that testosterone. I understand the urge that you want to just release. You want to get that thing out. But gentlemen, I'm telling you, the more you do it, you lose sensitivity. The more you watch corn, you lose you. It really affects your brain. It affects how you view women. It, it affects your self-esteem. It affects your communication skills. One of the downfalls behind watching a lot of corn is when you actually communicate with women in real life, you become awkward. You become weird. You're more nervous. You don't know what to say because you've been so blinded by this pixel, by this person who's doing unrealistic things right and then when you actually get it in with somebody you're not as stimulated you have high expectations you expect her to be like the girl you see on video it's proven gentlemen it really messes you up it really slows you down and corn has been an issue amongst the men's space i promise you fellas it's actually pretty pathetic how many dudes are addicted to corn and this is stuff I teach guys often. Slow down. Right? Slow down. Now, and gentlemen, not only I'm going to tell you the successes I've had, but I'm going to teach you how to stop. That's the beauty about this video. Not only I'm going to tell you the downfalls of what you're doing, but I'm going to tell you how to stop. And these are effective strategies that help me. Gentlemen, I went a month without going at it. 
I went a month, gentlemen. I went a month without touching myself. And when I went a month, man, I felt invincible. I felt incredible. The amount of energy that you can save. I'm not talking about intercourse. We're talking about touching yourself. Because that develops discipline. That challenges you more to go out there and actually date a woman. That challenges you to go out there and actually meet women. Instead of going through a pixel screen and talking to somebody digitally. Some of y'all like to talk to the phone. But that's what I'm saying. It's so sad. I'll look at certain videos from FedEx and there's so many guys that would watch corn four to five times a day. Now, gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and show you this clip. And it was actually quite pathetic. The guy had no shame in his game. And I want you to watch this video and really learn from this. Uh, I'm trying to work on it. I'm aware How of it. How much porn you watch? Uh, I say about like, I say 12 times in a month. That's around. Uh, around 12 around, times around. a month? Yeah. There's only, like, it's not, hold up, 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 hold up. Okay, okay. There's only four weeks Yeah. in a month. 12 times a month, you're beating your dick three times a week or 12 times a week? Be honest. Which one is it? 12 times a week or three times a week? Uh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, you let's count it? Active. You count it? Wow. Well, I have like a... Um, wow. Like, wow. Wow. Well, I, I got to know, right? Because every time I, I do these um these coaching things, like these community things, they say, oh, how many, how many times you watch porn? I'm like, oh. Okay, let's, what's the number? What's the number? Gentlemen, this particular dude is beyond lost. I feel incredibly sad for him because he thinks this is a joke. He lacks social skills. He's socially awkward, just like the guy I spoke about in the last video. There's so many guys who lack social skills because of too much corn. A lot of you black pill dudes watch a lot of corn. A lot of you extreme red pill dudes sit in your basement and watch a lot of corn but this is the this is the habit that we have to stop this is hurting us it is so sad that because of corn that there are so many guys that are suffering from erectile dysfunction a lot of you guys have to result to getting all these diff different pill enhancements at age 25 when that shouldn't be the case because in your 20s you're at your peak testosterone when the wind blows you should be just up but realistically, a lot of guys, man, they lack self-confidence, low self-esteem. You guys are going to corn because it's an outlet. Gentlemen, I've had consultations and talked to dudes who had corn issues. And the thing is, this corn is ruining your relationship. Touching yourself is ruining your relationship with your lady when you're excessively touching yourself. Touching yourself is stopping you from your purpose. When you're excessively touching yourself, it's stopping you from your purpose. Now, I understand there's one thing that you, you know, you do it once or twice a month, whatever you keep, keep it pushing, right? That's not a big deal. But when, when there's dudes doing it three to four, five times a day, all month, that is a problem. And that's most dudes. This is why I'm putting emphasis in it. Now, next, gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and teach you the correct ways to stop touching yourself. Number one, you must stay busy. Staying busy is gonna keep you occupied and, 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 and eliminate the ability to, to be tempted to even touch yourself. Staying busy is gonna put you on your purpose. This is why I always emphasize be on your purpose. Staying busy is gonna refrain you from wanting to tempt you to wanna to touch yourself. Staying busy is going to enable you to complete more tasks and you're going to accomplish more goals when you stay busy, right? Intentionally busy, not fake busy, but intentionally busy. So this is why I always emphasize that guys need to focus on their purpose. Number two, you must exercise daily, right? Now, I know times get hard when you get home. The more you work out, the, the more testosterone, the more eager that you want to do it. Trust me. I work out every day and I have that urge often, but I learned to fight it 
through do, doing different alternative activities like staying busy, right? Exercising, maybe doing some push-ups, maybe doing some sit-ups, right? Um, outside of exercising, watch a movie. Watch a movie that doesn't pertain to anything involving intercourse. Watch a sports documentary. Watch a religious documentary. Watch Animal Planet. Watch something that doesn't make you think about the temptation. Again, like I just mentioned, staying busy. Working out, which falls in line to staying busy. Watching a movie. Reading a book. Doing something productive is going to eliminate the, the, the temptation to want to touch yourself. And I know a lot of y'all are so tempted all the time. Like, oh, I got to get, I got to do it like three, four times a day. But gentlemen, this is going to help you develop self-control. This is going to help you develop self-confidence. You don't need that pixel screen. These women don't know who you are. Because gentlemen, the more you watch corn, remember, you're watching another man beat down somebody else. So you're looking at another man. You're fantasizing about another man doing something to another woman. That's what you're doing. And we have to stop this, gentlemen. And this is not me just trying to scare you. This is the truth. Gentlemen, I promise you, every time you do it, don't you have that guilty conscience? It's just like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? What is this filthy thing? post not clarity, right? It's a real thing. You start to feel disgusted. You start to look at that screen after you release. You're just like, man, what did I watch? I'm talking to you fellas, man. We have to do it less. I'm being realistic here. We got to do it less. Again, this is going to challenge you to put yourself out there and actually meet women. The problem with you dudes is you cannot keep your hands to yourself. As far as touching your, your, your stuff, you're less valuable. Because the more you release and you out there, you're gonna you feel more hesitant. You kind of just drained and tired. Don't you want that energy? That's where that's where that's where your semen is. Your, your, your sperm is your powers, your energy source. So when you're protecting it, when you're doing it less, you feel more energized. See, gentlemen, you know the difference. You know the difference between releasing when you're masturbating and releasing when you're actually engaging in the course it's two different things so i want y'all to really take pride in yourself and think about who you are and your value by protecting your seed but doing it every day ain't gonna cut it more erectile dysfunction it's gonna cause you to want to buy some of them pills and all these other male enhancement uh products that you think is gonna help you so gentlemen, we gotta stop and we gotta slow down with touching ourselves. Number two, gentlemen, you need to take cold showers for 30 days. Gentlemen, I promise you, when I took cold showers for 30 days, it changed my life forever. Gentlemen, it changed my life forever. Number one, it boosts your mood, right? It Because again, when you're taking cold showers, it activates that immune system. Oh, it's going to enhance that immune system. You're going to feel so much better about yourself. When you're getting out the cold shower, like I said at first, I'm going to be honest with you, it's a little awkward and weird. But once you get used to it, it gets better. It increases your libido. It increases your mood to want to accomplish goals. You're going to want to exercise more. It wakes your body up. It cools you down from within. Gentlemen, did you know that your testicles have to be cool? Because the warmer your testicles, right? The higher cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone that you do not want to activate. Quarter, the more cortisol, gentlemen, the more cortisol, the less libido. The less you're more motivated. And then you ever go through those days where you just feel sluggish? You feel, oh man, I don't feel like doing that. Well, once you start taking cold showers, you're not going to feel like that as much. And then one of the most important aspects of taking cold showers, it, it, it increases your circulation, which falls in lines of your blood flow. It's more of a, and, and, and you have more an increased healthy blood flow. You know what healthy blood flow means? 
that means you can get erect even harder. So the more healthy, the better your blood flow, the harder that you get. It increases your libido. So you don't have to get some of those pills that these 70, 80 year olds dudes uh, are taking. There should be no reason why anybody that's 25 or 30 should be popping any pills that's unhealthy for them. But again, it's, it's going to increase your libido. But it's going to increase your performance in gym. It's going to increase your performance in life. It's going to increase your performance as far as your conversation skills. Again, cold showers is awkward. Now, the beauty about this video, I'm going to show you how to overcome the cold showers. Now, number one, you must start with lukewarm type water, right? Start warm and take it down a notch when it comes to the temperature, right? Then you go half cold, half hot, right? Stand there for five minutes. Then take it down a notch, right? Get even a little cooler. Stand there for five minutes. Bring it, take it down a notch, make it cooler. Stand there for five minutes. You can kind of spin around, but you must get your body used to it. Think about it, gentlemen. It also helps with injuries. It also, it's also anti-inflammatory. Anybody who's dealing with inflammation, cold showers help. Why do you think professional athletes get in the ice tub? Why do you think all these athletes, not even just professional athletes, but collegiate athletes or high school athletes, why do people get in ice tubs? Because it brings down the inflammation, right? When you get a boo-boo or when you get a cut or something, why do people put cold water on you? Because again, it enhances you and heals you. So therefore, if you're taking cold showers, it's going to what? Enhance you. Now, I know some of y'all looking at it like, are you sure, bro? I promise you. But you just, you just got to be consistent and you got to do it for 30 days. Challenge yourself. This is it's it's a bit awkward, but it's so many benefits, man. And when you do it for 30 days, you will see a major difference. But you got to take a shower in the cold for 30 days. But again, you got to start with lukewarm water to get warmed up, to get get acclimated. And once you do this for 30 days, you're going to see an increase in your mood. You're going to see an increase in your productivity. You're going to see an increase in your libido. You're going to see an increase in every positive category category when it comes to your physical health. Right? And not only that, gentlemen, but when you take cold showers, you are less likely to be sick. Right? Again, taking cold showers. Now, a lot of times people are like, well... Joe, how do you have these moves? Where is this? You're always energized. How do you get up in the morning and, and work out? Well, taking cold showers. Now, gentlemen, when I went to take, when I went back to taking hot showers, that's when I started noticing the difference in my mood. But when you take them cold showers, it is a game changer. And I recommend that you do it for 30 days. So, gentlemen, overall, not touching yourself for 30 days and watching corn is going to change everything about you. And that's why I started um this video with that particular topic and number two taking cold showers for 30 days that is totally different something that you are not used to doing but the moment that you practice that the moment your body get used to that i'm telling you once you conquer those two things gentlemen it's going to change who you are as a person you're going to want to challenge yourself more you're going to want to accomplish more goals right just like my boy my boy Derek did the 75 hard challenge Right. And that enhances discipline. He was already a disciplined person, but it enhances discipline. So challenging yourself is going to make you want to succeed even more. Right. When challenging yourself and you're getting those small wins. Right. Small wins equate to bigger wins. So this is something that I want you all to t really put emphasis in. Right. Number one, not touching yourself and watching corn. And number two. Number two, taking cold showers. Now, gentlemen, if you find any value in this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And do not forget to hit the notification bell. And gentlemen, if you feel stuck, you feel unmotivated, and you need tips as far as learning how to not touch yourself and taking cold showers, book a consultation with me. And I promise you, I'm going to help you get to the next level and be the best version of yourself. Peace from J.D. Professor.